Hello everyone and welcome to Python Tutorials. In this tutorial we explain how to create Python virtual environments in Windows from command line. But first of all let's explain what is an environment. An environment in Python is the context in which a Python program runs that consists of an interpreter and any number of installed packages. That is, when someone says a Python environment you should immediately connect two things and you should know that the environment consists of an interpreter, that is, a Python interpreter that interprets and executes the code and any number of installed packages. Okay, next, let's clarify what is a virtual environment. A virtual environment is a Python built-in way to create an environment. Okay, a virtual environment creates a folder that consists of a copy or symlink to a specific interpreter and specific packages. So when you install packages into a virtual environment, it will end up in this new environment folder and in that way it will be isolated from other packages used by other workspaces and this is very important. That is, we can open a new environment and we can install in that environment specific packages. Once we exit that environment, these packages will only be constrained and will only be valid in that environment. In some other environment or in a global Python environment, they will not exist. Okay, in every virtual environment, we can install a set of packages with specific versions. Packages installed in one virtual environment will not be seen by another virtual environment or the global Python environment that is run directly from the command prompt. In this way, we can avoid issues with different versions of packages since some old programs will not be compatible with newer packages. And I strongly suggest to everyone to code in Python by creating virtual environments. Okay, so let's start with practical explanations. First of all, let's open a command prompt. You can do that by clicking on start and searching for command prompt. Okay, here is the command prompt. Now, I strongly suggest you that you make sure that your Python is actually installed and added to the system path. You can do that by typing, actually you can verify that by typing where Python. And you should see the absolute path to the folder where the Python is installed and to, and to the Python executable file. Sometimes if you type where, where Python you will not be able to see anything over here. Then most likely Python can be called by using just py. So then make sure that py is installed by typing where py and you will see that py is located over here. Now, in this tutorial everything will be based on this executable file Python and I will call Python by specifying Python. However, if in your case Python is installed as py, you will simply type py and that's it. Next, I will navigate to my D drive. I don't want to install anything on my C drive. D drive is used for custom programs and for coding. Then, on my D drive, I will create a new folder. And I will call this folder test1. And this will be, fo this will be the folder in which I will create my virtual environment. So let's navigate to that folder. By typing D IR, you will see that this folder is completely empty. Okay, so we will do things in this folder. Let me just do this. Okay, the first thing is to create the environment. To create the environment, we will use this command. We will call the Python, then dash M, VNV means that we are creating the environment and the name of the environment is N1. Here you can change the name as you wish. Now, after I execute this command, you will see that there is an additional folder inside of test1. And in this folder, our environment and all the setup and all the packages will be stored. So let's navigate to that folder and let's see the structure of this folder. You see include library scripts. So let's navigate to scripts 
And let's see the structure of that folder. Okay, here we have several files. You can see pip for installing packages. You can see Python, etc. For us, the most important file is currently this one, activate.bat. This file will be used to activate our newly created environment. Next, I will go back to my original work folder by typing cd double dot two times. Now, from this folder, we will call this script. To call this script, we need to specify a relative path to activate.bat script and the relative path should be respect with respect to test one. So the relative path is inside of environment one, we have the folder called scripts and the name of the file is activate.bat and see now what will happen. Voila, what do we see over here? We see in these parentheses and one. This means that we are currently in the newly created environment. Okay, let's continue. Next, let's create a new Python file inside of this environment. To do that, I will simply type notepad and let's call the file test1.py. And over here, click on yes to create a new file. And let's write our first Python file. Let's type import numpy as np. Okay, then the next thing what we will do, we'll print a message. Let's print my first virtual environment. Okay. Now, over here I imported the NumPy library. So I did that since I need to add two numbers. Okay, first of all, I will define my first number, a, to be numpy.py divided by 3. That is, the first number is number pi divided by 3. The second number will be pi divided by 6. And the final result will be sine. Actually, we need to call numpy.sine a plus numpy.cosine b. And finally, let's print c. Okay, let's save this file, close this file, and let's try to run this file. Okay, to run this file, we need to type Python and the name of the file. That is, we need to run this. And here is what happens. Okay, so we have an error. So what is the error? It's saying that no module named NumPy. Uh -huh. So it looks like that inside of this environment, we didn't install NumPy. Okay, very interesting. So, to install NumPy inside of this environment, we need to call pip install NumPy. And this will install NumPy, and it will install NumPy inside of our virtual environment called N1. However, before I do that, let me illustrate something. Now, what I will do, I will deactivate my environment. And now I'm again in my base command prompt. In my base command prompt, I can also run Python. However, this version of Python, or basically to say this command Python, will be executed in the global environment. That is in my global Python environment that has all the packages that are installed by running pip install certain package. And I already installed NumPy inside of the global Python environment so I will be able to run this file from my global Python environment, as you can see over here. The file perfectly runs. However, if I try to run this file again from my virtual environment, and let's do that. Again, you can see over here that, that I activated my environment since this env is active. And I simply need to type python test test1.py. And you can see that I cannot run this file. Again, this is because numpy is not installed in my virtual environment. So to summarize, 
the virtual environment is completely separated from the global environment. That is, in my virtual environment, I need again to install all the packages. And this is very useful since you can separate the package versions from one environment to another. So let's install pip install and let's install numpy. Okay, now we are installing numpy and you will see this window. This will take some time on my machine. And over here you will see it. Now the package is being installed. Okay, now let's do one test, first of all, before we even run. Let's see the structure of the folder. Let's go to environment one and let's see, for example, what's written over here. We have this folder include. So let's go to include folder and let's see the structure of this folder. Nothing. Okay, the next folder is lib. lib. Let's see this folder. Aha, we see, we see site packages. So let's go to site packages and let's see the structure. And here it is, here's our NumPy. Okay, perfect. So NumPy is actually installed in this library folder. Okay, so let's go back once, twice, three times, and let's go to the base folder. Inside of this folder, we can finally run our test file, test1.py, and let's see what's happening over here. We can see that my first virtual environment and I can see the computed number, and that's it. Okay, now we learned how to activate the environment, how to install packages in the environment, and how to basically run the program per, from the environment. And finally, let's learn to deactivate the environment. To do that, you can simply run deactivate, and you will deactivate your environment, and you're again in the base 